Hey, Arthur! One night when I was... What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. Fucking scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You... Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's... Remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, it picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... It shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a break. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. Come on, folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar. Think you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning? You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. They're left here, towards roads. So, like I was talking about. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's obsessing. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine, damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Yeah. So, we block the tracks with the wagon, then jump them. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. 
Don, secure the passenger car fast. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, ha! get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Get up there. Finish up here. Join us on board. Hey, all right. Get on that train. Bastard. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Everybody stay calm. Sure. Everybody will get shot. Do it. Go. Everything you got. Money. Valuable. I'll do anything. There you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving till this bag's full! Just put the gun down, they beg him! Oh, oh. I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Don't help me! What's the problem? Money! Oh. Hey! Never do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay! Come on. Okay! In the bag, God everything you got! Keep it coming, don't be shy! People like you make me sick! These two seem to think we're playing games! I want to count to three. God damn it. Oh, God. Sick is better than dead, lady. And I'm Thank losing you. my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. You want to see me? Stop. No. Tough you guy. go ahead and look for the baggage you sure car. About that? You, you show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. Quick, come on! Stop pitié. Sure, please, on stop. please don't hurt. Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Money now! Shut up, bitch. Come on, cup it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. I am okay. None of you folks. What is it? Fuck. You all right? You hear me? Build the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet. There's probably something in here, Arthur. Me best brother of all. I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna have a right out lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Posh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. How's it looking in there? Let's go. 
go. Some decent stuff. All right, we should probably be going now. We're looking good in here. Come on, we should get out of here. These folks are rich, all right. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them turning up. Man, my big mouth. Okay. Let's deal with them. We won't tell you again. Come up. Now with your hands up. up. From the left, here come the friends. Come on, come from the trees there. Was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. Arthur, good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? Up this way with a good view of the trail. Okay, girl. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you. Ain't going back to Dodge without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean... How many men? Guns? Riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. 
Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now. And you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. up on this ridge. He should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah. This is a robbery! Stop that coach right now! What in the hell? Guns up! We got it. Yep. Covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Come on, boy! Take and a 
new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot. But shit! Now we're being run! Get across the river! <laughs> What the hell? Come on, Arthur, get out of there! You dumb bastards! You okay? I think so. Oh. Just keep your head down. Let's finish. Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscolls? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of... Well, this little mess. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now. Get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. What you preparing for? Greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. How much you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up, then. Let's go. Before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people... Well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in, and you see if you can bring one down. 
Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Someone do that. I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow him. Alright. Lead the way. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? I see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp. It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Killing for fun. Think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. <laughs> Look, more dead bison. It has to be them. Come on, wait up. Shoot those bison. Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. 
We shot them bison, we'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please, don't kill me. I'm begging you. All right, I'll get out of here. Oh, just, don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Arthur, come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cake. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Alright, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. All right. This looks as good a spot as any.
Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Just by the water there? You mean? I can't wait to get started. First, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look! There! Got him! I see! I see! See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. You okay there? I think so. This is hard. Look, oh, Jack, it's a smallmouth bass. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Good things, Jack. I know. See that cast, Jack? Fishing sure is boring, ah, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit. Wait. Try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Got one, Jack. Is it a big one? What are you making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. This one's a rock bass. Not bad. Hey, look at this. And what? 
this necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother will be worried. Let's head back. Where Uncle Dutch is. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. But did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. Boys get known. Great. We caught a fish and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. Hey, uh, you busy, Arthur? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said, said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. You all right, girl? Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill. This way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, big place, right? Big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. Stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And 
get a proper look at the place well hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us too coast seems clear so far yeah so far behind the shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Be quiet! under here. There's no place else I could store it. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. It was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Sounds good. 
So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about and you got any leads? I got something. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was the prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well... You was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way... Well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. And that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Good morning. Uh, I already don't like how this is going. store yep can you uh head in pick up a sniper rifle i'll explain later oh well hello again how can i help you today looking for a rifle something with a sight on it shouldn't be a problem you want to see what we've got it's all in the catalog here Sure. Let's go. Okay, boy. Let's go. Yeah! Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run-in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run-in. I've had a run-in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place.
Watch up there. Get a proper view. All right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collecting on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. them over there. The one now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Well, looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. That ought to do it. Let's go round them up. Okay, boy. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here, there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. Yeah, yeah! They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Sheep to me. You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Yeah, yeah! Now you got it? Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Yeah. 
Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Uh, you're buying, but we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Eighteen percent. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't hurt, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. All right. Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Absolute, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man for. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Meepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Mandolin! You're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible. Mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, no more. Shut up! You 
Make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> oh. yeah. Alright. I better get out of here. the plan for now and when do we stop when we reach paris oh that'd be nice join the commune we stop when we find someplace sensible so we moving yeah turned into a bunch of killers i mean it we ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers we are just trying to survive hosea we don't have a choice this will end soon damn right it will okay boy let's go Hold. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made at Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And 
There ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be a... Uh, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Okay, then. Yep. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any... Shoot first, debate second. I'm gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. There is everybody. Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. I'm being careful. It's okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. Come on, Luther. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see none. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well... Maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. I think this is the right way. Give me a second. Okay, looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Hold up. Let me check this. Continues along the shore here. So, anyway, Masters told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but <clears throat> he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. Careful. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young, a long while. Year Wait a second, just want to look closer here. They carry on along this trail. Like you were saying before. He did? And we was 
family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. It seems deserted. Let's take a look. Ha! Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. There he is. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Pfanne Vorsicht! Coming right at us! What the hell do you think you're doing? It's okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Here, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen böse Geld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yeah. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas, oh. Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wärst du gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. das war. Vamos. Uh, Ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! This place, oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. 